All right, guys, so we're going to go into a front lever hold, focusing on that shoulder position. Watch Matt do this first, and then I'll have you guys go with us. You going to go inverted? Yeah. Cool. You can face this way. Sure. Guys, there's a lot of ways to get into front lever. I'm going to show you different ways as we go. Matt's going to do this first one inverted. He's upside down. He's going to tuck his knees into his chest. His elbows straight, stay locked. He's going to lower his hips to right in line with his shoulders, and he's going to hold right there. Nice, bud. Take a break. So that's our front lever, guys. I'll show you different versions on the second set. If you can do it this way, join us. We have 15 seconds. This is round one of four rounds. All right, Matt. Let's do it. So you guys can get into it the same way or a different way if you prefer. Three, two, one, and we're holding front lever 15 seconds, guys. Remember the shoulder position. Shoulders down, shoulders back, elbows locked. Hold tight. Five seconds. Nice, Matt. A little bit lower. Three, two, one, release. How'd it go? Good. Waking that up a little bit. That shoulder a little bit? Yeah. Cool. Guys, we're going to take a rest in between these rounds, but we're going to do some active work. So as we go through progressions of front lever, we start in a tuck, we move to some single leg, we eventually move to straddle. So we're just going to work on a middle split stretch. So Matt, you can join in. You guys at home, just come out, bring the legs out wide. The legs aren't super warm, so don't push it super hard. But go wide enough that you feel a stretch. And we're going to chill here for a minute. Nice. nice, that's low, man. If you guys get low enough, feel free. You can put the hands on the floor. Just going to chill here. Nice, Matt. So again, we're taking a break so that when we get back to the rings, we can go for it. Well, Matt's stretching. I'm going to lower the rings so I can show you guys another version of our front lever. So you guys at home, just keep stretching that middle split. You can take some pulses if you want, or you can just hold it static. Got about 10 seconds left. Dude, that's a good middle split. Thanks. Do you work it much or you just have it? Um, both. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. That's good. I could do it more. I'd love to be able to just drop into full splits. That'd be awesome. Me too. All right, guys. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're on round two. If you guys were able to do that first version of the front lever, I want you to stick with that. If you jumped up and it just didn't make sense and you dropped, I want you guys to try this version. So what I'm going to have Matt do is he's going to lay on the floor in that tuck position and he's going to re reach up toward the rings. So I'll have you face this way, Matt. Okay. So I want you guys to do, if you were not able to do that other version, is to find yourself in exactly the position Matt's in. So the rings are such that his shoulders are just off the floor. He's in this tuck position, and what Matt's going to try to do is he's going to focus on the shoulders down and back, and he's going to try to pull his hands this way toward his hips, and he's going to try to pull his hips this way up toward his hands. And he might float, or he might just barely bounce, or he might just take a little weight off his hips. Nice, Matt. Perfect. So guys, if you're whatever version you're at, we're going to start together. You can come down in three, two, one, and squeeze. Nice, Matt. So Matt's coming off the floor. Bring your hips down just to show and just squeeze everything really tight. This will be an easier version for you. Keep holding, guys. Maybe you're floating. Maybe you're bouncing. Maybe you're right where Matt is. Three, two, one, release. Nice, Matt. So that, everybody can do that, even if you're not able to get off the ground and float. If that was the version, you're going to do the next two sets like that. Let's drop into our middle split again. Okay. Let's take a break. We've got two more rounds. That was really good, Matt. Thank you. I'm going to raise you up a little bit. So 
So you guys should know what version it works for you. We'll have two more sets, 15 seconds each. If you're not able, maybe you're able to do that first version, but you can't hold it for four rounds, maybe you drop your rings down and do that second version. Something for everybody. All right, so we're just holding that middle split, guys. There's a lot of different ways to work your middle split. We can make it active. We can make it passive. I'm not too concerned. I just want you guys to use your time. All right, three, two, one, coming out of that middle split. Nice, Matt. So I'm giving you guys about a minute rest in between rounds. Realistically, you could take another minute if you want. So if you feel like you need new, better, more rest to get a better set, hit pause for about a minute. But Matt's ready to go. You ready, bud? Let's do this. All right, so Matt's gonna go back to that first version. Yep, I'll have you face this way. <clears throat> feel free to tuck super tight this time. Okay. We'll chat about that a bit. All right, guys, at home, set it up, whether you're starting from inverted. Do you want to pull from the bottom this sure. time? Matt's going to pull from the bottom just to show another version. We're going to be in our front lever in three, two, one, and hold. Nice, buddy. We're trying to get the hips in line with the shoulders. You can even uh, tuck a little tighter if you want. Yep. It actually looks harder for you. Almost there, guys. Three, two, one, release. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it actually, it looks harder for you. The first version of this movement, guys, is a really rounded spine, just super tucked in like an egg. Matt is doing the next version, which is a flat back with the knees tucked in. And then eventually the legs get out longer and longer. Middle split. Oh. All right, guys, right back to our middle split. Just going to clean up the ring straps. If the middle split is something you guys want to work on, definitely check out some of the other classes. We've got some good active lower body mobility stuff that'll help work on those middle splits. Right now, we're just kind of hanging out down there. Nice, dude, getting lower. <laughs> Waking him up a little bit. <laughs> You need a whole gym just to work on your middle split. <laughs> Tall dude. Long legs. <laughs> Keep holding it at home, guys. We've got about 20 seconds left, and then we'll do our last round of these holds. That shoulder can handle one more? Yep. Feels right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Three, two, one, and release. If you guys are pretty advanced with your front lever, you can still get a lot out of this. You're just gonna be doing a more advanced position. Again, like I said, there's the tuck, the advanced tuck, and then the legs start to get out farther and farther away from the chest. Maybe you're one of those versions, maybe you're even doing full, but you can still get a lot out of doing these holds. So here we go, last set. Remember the shoulder position above all else. Elbows locked, shoulders down, shoulders back. Feeling the lats. Let's do it. Entering our front lever however you want. We've showed a couple different versions. We are holding it in three, two, one, and hold. Nice, Matt. Right there. Yep. If you guys aren't sure if you're flat, film yourself or get somebody else around. Tell them what they're looking for. A little bit lower, Matt. Right there. Three, two, one, release. Nice, dude. Good stuff. Awesome. All right, we're not done just yet, guys. We're going to really hammer the lats a little bit extra here at the end. We're going to do an inverted, controlled, negative all the way to the bottom. So watch Matt do one rep first. You guys can just grab some water, take your rest. Matt's going all the way upside down. He's going to tuck his knees in because he already knows this is the appropriate version for him. And then we're going to, when we're going together, we'll count five seconds. I just want Matt to go slow on this first one. He's just lowering down, 
We're going through the position we were just in all the way down until he touches the floor. You okay? Your shoulder just yeah. popped. Yeah. All right. It does that. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do three reps of those together, guys. If you're not comfortable going upside down yet, you can just go to that front lever position we were in and then lower down to the bottom. You don't have to go all the way upside down, but you can work toward it eventually. You might want to put a mat underneath your rings as well if you're unfamiliar with it. Ready? All right, guys, we're going to do three reps. Upside down, all the way to down. Same shoulder stuff the whole time. Let's do it. So shoulders towards your butt and back. Matt's tucking in, and here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, till we get to the floor. Nice job.